Hello viewers, this is attorney Nuresh Gayi. This one is going to be a very important show, especially for people who want to get their green cards by investing into in the United States of America. So Reena, this is going to be very interesting because there are many people who are going to see of how this can be very beneficial. Even if you don't have money, you may still qualify for the investor visa program. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Yes. So very often, you know, the big misconception is that I need hard cash. The answer is no. Under the EB-5 visa program. What is the EB-5 program? Commonly referred to as the investor's program to get your green card, which means you want to invest money. It can be tangibles. It can be inventory. It can be equipment. And if you can invest that kind of money in the US, the requirement is $1,050,000 uh, in a developed area. I'm just using layman's terms. In an underdeveloped area, which is commonly referred to as a targeted unemployment area, you need $800,000. Now, let's take an example about some countries like India. What you can do is you get $250,000 you know, per year from a family member. If you're married, so you get half a million dollars. Within two years, you can qualify with that money, you know, for a green card. And I would prefer that you go through the direct investor program. Now, people ask me, what is the difference between a regional center and a direct investor program? Now, for example, when you're in India, or if you're in China, if you're in Korea, you see all these people coming up with big banners, come and invest with me and I'm going to get you a green card. Those are, those are regional centers. And I tell people to exercise extreme caution because some of these regional centers, uh, they have not done well and people have lost their monies. But always try to consider the direct investor. Direct investor, let's take an example. Is it that you are a diamond merchant or if you're in some big business, textile business, you should definitely consider the EB-5. And the easy way to think about the EB-5 is contact an attorney, tell them, hey, listen, I have so much money, but I really want to get to America, but I can promise you that I have inventory with me and I can transfer this inventory to America and all this inventory has been verified and the value of my inventory is $2 million. Diamonds, simple. Do you know you qualify for a green card? One of the requirements is that when you start your business over there, you need to hire 10 US workers. And if you're in a big business, 10 workers is not difficult. Now, for example, what I would do is I have $2 million, I'm a diamond merchant, and expand your business, have 10 jobs created there for US workers, and then after that you get a conditional green card, and after that you get a permanent green card. It's all about working with the right legal advice. Second thing is there's a person, he has a million dollars because he has businesses in Dubai, he has businesses everywhere. He said, I have my million dollars ready, I can easily transfer. What should you do in that, in that regard? It's a no-brainer. I tell people, look at businesses, work with the lawyer, wherein you're guided about buying those businesses. Of course, you know, a lawyer can recommend you, but due diligence is done by you. Do your due diligence, for example, buy a gas station in America and with a Dunkin' Donut. Good thing is 24 seven gas station, you need 15 people working for you. So you met the 10 requirement, you're making $300,000 a year and you're getting your green card there. A lot depends upon how you guide it. The common thing that people are following kind of, uh, you know, uh, they're being trapped by people is to invest in regional centers. Regional centers should be done by you as a last resort. That is my personal recommendation because when it comes to regional centers, you are investing the money with somebody else. These people are authorized to collect monies because they are certified by the US government. Remember, a lot of these regional centers, when they come, they will never tell you that your money is at risk. But the law makes it very clear that even if you're investing with the regional center, your money is at risk, which means you may get your green card. You may even only get a two-year green card. How about if that company files for bankruptcy, you're losing the entire money. 
people don't want to talk about that that is a trap but a smart person hires a good lawyer and that lawyer does the due diligence if you don't want to start your own business and if you want to invest the money with someone else make sure you have your own legal advisor to work with you who can at least guide you whether it's a good strategy to invest or no and if they say yes then you're good to go and if that happens eb5 regional center means you're entrusting your money to a third party who's hiring 10 workers for you that's the advantage but they are holding your money for approximately the next 5 years until you get the green card so your money is used by somebody else plus you're paying the legal fees but in the direct investor you're investing your own money you're making money because you're in charge of your business and i tell people if you're an entrepreneur go for the direct investor speak to your accountant tell him how can i transfer assets word the what is word is assets if you don't have the cash you have inventory but it should be genuinely valued inventory appraised inventory you can still qualify for the investors program and you have to invest in a new commercial enterprise a new commercial enterprise is a new business or it's an existing business expanding the company better thing to do is to form a new corporation hire 10 workers call it a day or buy a franchise in the united states buy a mcdonald buy a dunkin donut buy those great franchises invest your money and get your green card mr gay's recommendation is to make sure that you try to go for the direct investor rather than investing your money with someone else and then when you when you, you know get your money back and it becomes a problem but there is one good benefit about the regional center is that you don't have to hire 10 workers they hire 10 workers for you but they are using your money and after 4 5 years if you get it you're lucky if not you may never see the money back that's the risk you're taking you may see the money back you may not see it but then the direct investor you are in control you are making the money you're living in america your spouse is living with you on a green card at the same time your children under the age of 21 qualify for a green card so this is the beauty of the investors program so investors be careful and my recommendation is even if you're going with the regional center be very careful tell them that you would like to have your own lawyer look at the program they will say that we have our lawyers never come with that mistake do your own due diligence because 1 million dollars or $800,000 is a lot of money don't waste your money be wise look at everything before you do your investment under the investors visa category thank you for your guidance sir get a free consultation today call the number on your screen or visit our website gayhilaw.com to learn more